Rucker, have you found him yet? No, I can't believe I lost him. Well, hello, beautiful. I found him. Okay, Parker, don't panic. You're just having a little conversation. And who has come to shame the splendor of Belgrade? It's her beauty. Are you kidding me? Hardison. Hardison. Beautiful name for beautiful lady. Tell me, Hardison, what brings you to Serbia? Oh, do my fangs and cape frighten you? Hardison. Okay, uh, Parker, you, you're an exchange student. Ask him his name. I'm an exchange student, and what is your name? Oh. Uh, Nicholas Nukovic, at your service. Where are you from? Where am I from? Mm. Oh, where am I from? Uh, uh, Pittsburgh, Detroit, Atlanta. I'm from Pittsburgh, Detroit, Atlanta. No, 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 no. I meant pick one. No, Parker, uh, sleeping is not a hobby. It's amazing how far Serbia has come, but the scars must still be there. I mean, all the families oh. who've suffered during the war. Yes, but history always has its casualties. Yes, but those families and those mm. children. It's tragic, yes, but the strong, the smart, the, the beautiful. They survive. Smile. Uh -huh. Smile. <laughs> Smile. What's wrong? What's wrong? It's a great little guy. It's time to go. Not everyone is worth saving. Boris! Oh. Boris! Boris! What's, go what's going on? What's, what happened? Whoa. whoa. I'm getting a bunch of calls to the police. What, what the hell is going on down there? I'll tell you what's going on. Parker just stabbed her guy with a fork. Oh. Where's Parker? How the hell should I know? I can't reach her on the comms. She slipped the security grid at the embassy. Where could she be? This is Parker we're talking about. She could be halfway across Europe by now. Trust me, she is gone. Who's gone? What? Artisan, let's go, man. You have it? Oh, not yet. So, uh, Sophie, Sophie, we need that scene. Are you finished with it yet? It's in the box on the back of the truck. Sophie, are you seriously, Sophie? It was supposed to be a two-page scene between Irina and a boy. That's still the heart of it. The heart of it? There's like ten pages here. You have a stunt. You have special effects. Sister Magda crosses and gets a loaf of bread. Wait, who's Sister Magda? Tell me you didn't see that coming. Of course you need the nun. You can't give Arena the death scene. What, whoa, 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 what, what, what death scene? In the second act. But the thing is, you know, you have to establish, you know, the main character's dramatic need. Otherwise, right. there's no emotional payoff in the resolution. Wait, this, this is a movie about NATO troops being attacked by werewolves. Mm -hmm. No, there is no emotional payoff. Excuse me? Listen, all we need to do is convince her to bring Luca to the set, to finish her scene, complete it, and then that's it. Let's oh. just keep this simple. Listen, this all right, simple. look around you. Look, look at all this. This, this is my world, OK? You need you need someone to, I don't know, crawl through an air duct. You call Park up. Bash her head in, Elliot. Internet porn, Hardison. You need someone to take over a movie, then. Uh, yes, an actor. <laughs> Right. Um, Sophie, about the acting. Oh, yeah? What? What's that? You're right. You, you're right. You, you know, we're going to go. We're going to go with your scene. Really? Oh! 
It's gonna be it's it's gonna be fantastic. It certainly right? is. I'm 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 gonna go to makeup. Ima davance, si je paradise, molim vas to žita sa mnom. Muskarci će vas uvek rastu žiti. Um, Hagen does. Hardison? Oh, my Luciani paradise. Where'd my daughter go? I think she was with Parker. And then there's the uh, FBI parked around the corner. FBI? Where? See that crappy van? It says plumber. Mm. Did you say plumber? That's their cover? Oh, that is so cute. It's like it's 1978 all over again. I'm in. Guide me. I found the server with the Moscone surveillance files, room 718. All you have to do is rip them on my flash drive and run. I don't have to type anything, right? No, just plug it in. It does the rest. All right, because you know I just learned that Photoshop thing you told me. I, I know. Baby steps. So just plug it in. Now, audio files, they can take a little while to run, but uh, the servers are pretty loud, so that should give you some cover. It's tapes. What? Oh, wait, did you you just say tapes? I just said tapes. Cassette tapes. You little thing, it's not gonna work. At least you ain't got to type nothing. Harson, how am I supposed to get out of the FBI offices with a box full of surveillance tapes, huh? Punch somebody. Oh. I'm gonna punch somebody. You're welcome. Is that so hard? I mean, what could you have just done that off the bat? Can you break the codes? The code. The, the codes to the, the Cayman Bank and Trust where the Cali Cartel and the African dictators keep all their dirty money. The, the, the ones that Moscone changes anytime he damn well pleases. Like, it's, c come on, dude, are you, are you kidding me? You know, you're, you're very negative lately. Yeah. And the sass, it doesn't, doesn't help. How are we doing? How's the search? I haven't started yet. Okay, you know, I haven't gotten one answer I was looking for today. What is it that you're doing? What, what's going on? I'm what? cutting onion. Devane and shrimp, uh, pan seared some scallops. I got 200 people I gotta feed, all right? Back off. Okay, okay. Mm. So you think the only thing I know how to do is bust heads? No, <laughs> well, yeah. Look, 
Hold a knife like this, huh? cuts through an onion. A knife like this, cuts through like eight Yakuza in four seconds. Screams, huh? carnage, people are like knives. Everything's in context. Oh. Okay, hors d'oeuvres. Yes, ma'am. Stuffed mushrooms, pine nuts, a kiss of basil, some sun-dried tomatoes, and for the finishing touch, lemon juice. Does this look like a food court? Does it? I want high-end food. High-end! What do you... I know. Just, just find the money. That's, that's why we're here, to find the money. Heather. Was that you screaming my name? Oh, yes, yes. We're looking at the dresses for the bridal party, and I wanted your opinion. Hmm. You look lovely. I don't think it makes me look fat. Mm -mm. Oh, definitely. I mean, why do you think I had to let out the waist? To make it look less skinny? She... She didn't mean that. Oh, suck it up, Cindy. You'll be fine. Actually, I could not agree more. Finally, someone around here who knows what they're talking about. How much do you weigh, anyway? Got a buck fifty? 